Hello YouTube, my name's John. Um, I've just come out here to uh, finish off uh, a cable pull. It's just a temporary one, out to a, uh, a, a barn in the woods here. Uh, there's some machinery and some work going on out here. They, they want some internet access. They've also run a, a small power cable for themselves, which uh, since they were pulling that, it's a bit heavier. As you can see, the, the two guns behind me. Um, they they pulled in my cable as well, so I've just come to check it out. I uh, gave them some instructions about you know, not to kink it or pull it too hard. Um, they seem to have done alright. I followed it up. Uh, I'm just going to walk the route of the cable and uh, it goes down here and uh, make sure it's not snagged up on anything and there's not uh, ten any tension left in the line there. So let's go. Right, here we are. So, this is the first area that uh, it starts to pass across this uh, track here. So, what I want to do is keep it over to this left hand side so nobody drives over it. So, I've pulled a little bit more down. There we go, it's going quite freely now. So, we'll just lay it up against the side of down this ditch for a second. Good as any. Okay, uh, right, so what I've done is uh, I've sorted out all that cable there. It's all running alongside the same side of the track now, so it's not going to get run over, which was my main concern. Uh, I've brought it uh, up here. It comes up in along with the power cable, and uh, then I've got it coming into a little bit of uh, black 20 mil ducting. Brought it up this pole here into this box. Sorry, I didn't take any pictures of, uh, of it going in but it's just it's just a few things screwed to a pole uh, so this is yeah and I just need to shove it in this is a, an outdoor enclosure for um, you can put connectors in here it's like a drop box um, so you you'd normally terminate this onto connectors and then bring in your individual subscribers and so you can plug them in but uh, I won't be using this front section I'll just be uh, this is an onion. This is a four core cable. I only need one one core from that for this this pole. So um, I just splice it straight up up to the uh, the roof area. So I'm shove some strips in that through. Okay, so I've got the uh, distribution point box uh, mounted just out of shot on the uh, on the post. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got these little wall boxes that. Um, they have a cover uh, and then it has a single port for the uh, NFC connector for the uh, customer premises I guess in this case it's a, the roof of a barn uh, I've got a pigtail already installed in there what I will do is I've got some tiny 
two millimeter cable here, which has a steel armor. Um, so I've already prepared this one, but then this is the really fine steel armor that comes out of it, uh, and it's just a single strand. So what I'm going to do is offer that up, splice that on, and then I'll drop the other end of this cable down and splice it into the distribution point. And at that point, we should be good. We can go back, connect it up, um, install the router, and we should have internet access. Okay, so I've taken the, the pigtail, which is just a connector uh, that's already terminated, taken that out of the socket, and I'm going to start by remembering to put a heat shrink splint on, a splice protector. These are just two pieces of heat shrink. The inner one uh, passes, the, the, the fibre passes through the inner one. Then that inside piece of heat shrink and a steel rod are encapsulated by an outer piece of heat shrink. So when you shrink it down, the steel rod f forms a splint across the splice. It. So I'm going to take a little bit off the end of this one, pop that in the scratch bin so we don't get hurt, and then I'm going to take off, oops, that's right, take off some of the outer coating with my strippers, and then put some alcohol wipe here, wipe that until it's Okay, so we've done that. We've got a cleaver here. And what this does is it puts a nice flat edge on the fibre. So we're going to pop this in our cleaver. There's that up. Definitely this one has a habit of knocking it off for some reason. Okay, and then we have a really goodly, goodly prepared end. So then that goes into one side of our fusion splicer. This is a Fujikura 40S, which is a bit of an old model, but it still does the job. It's good. Okay, and I can do exactly the same, except I, I don't need to put a splice protector on this. This is the going to be the drop wire. So that's the outer cladding of the, the second fibre, the drop wire fibre clean. I'm going to pop it into the cleaver. And that's trimmed a nice flat edge on that. So then, that's a little short edge, could be perhaps. I'm going to pop it into the splicer onto the opposite side. Close that down. Now, let me just make sure you can see this. So, I've got this set on a single mode uh, function. So, all I have to do now is just push set, and you'll see it takes two pictures, one from the top and one from the side, brings the two fibres together, lines them up, and then it will fuse them. There we go. And this is usually the bit that you remember that you've forgotten to put the uh, the splice protector on, <laughs> and you have to break it and start completely fresh. But fortunately, in this case, we've remembered to do that. So then we just open the lid. It pulls the uh, fibres apart slightly to test them for strength, and provided it doesn't break, you're good to go. So what we're going to do is slide the splice protector, slide the splice protector up to the join here. Carefully open that up so that we've got our completed fibre. Run that across. Centre the splice. Just a little bit short. And then on the back of the splicer we have an oven. And just drop the whole lot in there and push the heat button. And what that's going to do is it's going to heat the uh, heat shrink, shrink it down, and our splice will be protected. So we just wait a minute and that will be done. I 
Uh, okay, right, so didn't quite go to plan the filming of that, but uh, here you go, here's the finished temporary installation. So you've got the, the cable coming in, uh, comes into a little bit of ducting, cause it, just to give it a little bit of protection in this area, and then it comes up into this enclosure. So again, uh, I think I said before, we're not using these, you can put connectors in these, but it's just a single splice through. So there's a four core armoured cable, comes in, boop, boop, boop. just got the one uh, blue splice uh, coming out down to this one for now. I'll oh, that up in a minute. So then that's, uh, that's some, again some spiral armoured cable that follows this power cable up, up into the roof of the uh, barn. And then I'm going to show you where it goes. Okay, here we are in this little insulated loft area. So there's a mains distribution board from the cable we saw coming up, and then ours comes up just temporarily into this uh, enclosure. We've got our our uh, connector there onto a router, which is plugged in. Uh, so at the moment we've got lots of signal flashing because I need to go back down to the barn, plug it in, and see where we get. At the moment the I've just looped through fibres one and two and three and four, so I could shine light down and uh, and test for loss uh, across two cores at once, um, just to make sure nothing happened when it was being pulled. But it's all right. Okay, right. Let's nip down to the barn and uh, have a look and plug that in. <laughs> 